So, Coach Kimmy here, and this is my lovely, beautiful D. So, we're going to do a consultation for you guys. So, tell me about your hair. Well, you've been doing my hair for quite some time now, and we've always done the same thing, you know, whether it's just like a dark brown with a couple of different highlights, but I really would love to do the, um, like that, like that black with that blue and okay, so it. Blue black. So, like, you want to show me a picture? Sure. So, I love to ask customers. Show me the things that you like. This way we're on the same page because I could think something different than what she says. So it's really important to always make sure that you're on the same pages. And if you absolutely know when she speaks about it, that's okay. But I would really trust pictures more. Okay, so what we did was we mixed the color and I don't see any blue in there. I put blue kicker in there, like 10 ounces of it. But... I'm thinking maybe I want to use blue vivids on top of her. Like, maybe I'm just gonna do um, her touch up and then there's so many different things that you could do and that's where you have to be creative. I can do her root first, let's get that done. This is a color stain remover so it doesn't color her face. Do not get it on her skin. I mean, you can as long as you put this on you can. Very important. <laughs> So, now we got the blue vivid. You just do this straight. You don't put any peroxide in it at all. Fun, fun, fun. Mm -hmm. Use some and then comb it through, and if you need more, you need to add more. So, and I, I actually set that timer for 20 minutes less, I mean 10 minutes less, um, because I really want to make sure that I even get the blue. I want the blue to make sure I take. I don't want it to be too, too dark. So here we are, and it's a beautiful light cast of a pretty, pretty blue. Um, now we're going to layer her. I'm going to do the outline last. And you know, I always say get right down the middle. We're going to go down uh, about an, like, um, an inch like three-fourths of an inch down. That's how big of the section we're gonna do. And then all the way down, all the way down. It's gonna be like a pie, you know, piece of pie. So this way, I like to teach you so you don't get lost in a haircut. Okay, so how much you wanna take about that's that much? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take about an inch off. Remember I told you before, you're gonna cut up with your scissors. It's just gonna kinda, of, and you want it to be nice and piecey. Prep. This is vitamins to put in the hair. This is a primer, okay? And then we're going to use a styling cream. It's one of my favorite. We want nice body in there. And she loves body. Mm -hmm. See how nice her beautiful curl is? And now the other thing I want to use is a little tiny bit of surf spray. This will put very maximum body in there. Then I'm going to use some thickening spray. I'm going to put a little of that all on the ends. So the roots, I did styling cream. The um, mid shaft only, I did surf spray and now thickening spray all over. Okay, now I'm gonna flip her over and then we're gonna dry her 90%. This is my lovely husband that just came in. <laughs> Why, you wanna be my assistant? I want to show you something good too. So listen, I could see where, you, well, always when you're doing your blow dry, I always know that's where you can check the hair too. So I definitely cut her hair a little bit more layers on this side, so I'm going to do it after I let it out. And you see, it's just a little bit, and it wouldn't be enough to make a big difference, but it's just, I want a little extra on this side as well. So that's, always know when you're blow drying everything, you follow all the way through. You check it more after, and you just do, just put more layers in Too, and it still will look really beautiful. We're all done. Goodbye.